Okay. Let, let me ask R. R. Rajagopalan. You know, ulti the ultimate test, of course, of the Mandal politics and the and the fag end of the Mandal politics, as as we see play out in the Hindi heartland, uh, is Bihar. Bihar caste is today, yes. e even today, uh, uh, the singular most uh, uh, biggest determinant, if you will. And when you have JDU with the EBC vote bank and RJD with the Muslim Yadav vote bank coming together, it again becomes like what ha what had happened in 2015 and Agada versus Pichhara kind of a battle. Will the BJP be able to overcome two regional parties in a you know caste-driven cauldron like Bihar, whether it is in 24 or in 25? BJP will face immense task in Bihar Jaga. The reason being, BJP has a groundswell. According to my understanding, today Mr. Tejasvi Yadav spoke more than Nitish Kumar. That is going to be the trailer of future. Second thing. He was being castigated, Palturam, Sushashan Babu, Kursi Premi, Betrayer, Turncoat, Political Backstabber, Political Blackmailer, whatever that terms they have used against Mr. Nitish Kumar, he has surrendered before the Tejasvi Yadav. That helps BJP, Gore Parivar Vaad. And moreover, my understanding, till 7 p.m. BJP was keeping quiet. Today, let us make today's two press conferences. One. Tejasvi Yadav, Nitish Kumar, and Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. Ravi Shankar Prasad was aggressive, and he narrated the entire thing. Apart from that, my simple question and the last question, if Mr. Nitish Kumar is going to be projected as 2024 prime ministerial candidate against Mr. Narendra Modi, what is the chance of Mr. Rahul Gandhi? 2019, he missed. 2024, if he misses, where is the Congress? Then where that, you know, things will lead to. Regional parties are going to aspire for the longer term as prime ministerial ambition, which is a welcome in dance of democracy is that. But at the same time, 135-year-old party Congress, where is it now? You are surrendering before the state parties. And Tejasvi Yadav, who dumped Congress in Bihar, now he is going to sit with them in the ministry. And my understanding, Tejasvi Yadav will be the future of uh, Bihar and Indian politics, not Rahul Gandhi, not Nitish Kumar, not Congress. So, Supriya Srinath, you know, uh, you come from a state where the Congress party has been relegated to number four or number five place. Today, the BJP is the primary player in your state. And then, of course, there are the regional parties. And, and some would say, you know, the BJP is even relegated the regional parties to playing second or third fiddle. In Bihar, again, you are now perhaps number three in this Mahagadbandan uh, after RJD and after, uh, after uh, um, Mr. Nitish Kumar's party, the JDU. But even in the national scene, where is the, the question that the essence of the question that Mr. Rajagopalan is asking is where is Rahul Gandhi? Where is the Congress leadership? If the Congress leadership is not the, 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 the person who is being uh, sort of uh, projected to be prime ministerial candidate or the challenger to Mr. Modi, then are you going to relegate that the space at the center as well to project a regional face who you may think is more acceptable? No, I find the arguments that come from the so-called political experts a little ridiculous because quite frankly, I don't think anybody has said anything about PM candidates first things first. I also think Congress is the only axis of a political opponent as far as the BJP is concerned, Pan-India. And the other point that I do want to make, and I'm trying to make it very responsibly here, JP Nadda went to Bihar and said, there will be no regional parties, we will be the only party. He paid a price because Nitish Kumar was forced to walk out. He's actually instigating regional parties to go all guns blazing against the BJP. This is the reality of our lives. This is the reality of political spectrum in India. There is a rise of, rise of regional aspirations. The BJP has tried very hard to replace some of the regional parties. They have not been able to do so. You have to take people along. And if taking people along means that somebody on this channel or any other show is going to sit here and pontificate as a political expert and tell me this is relegation of Rahul Gandhi to the back room. No, no, absolutely not. This is about accepting taking people along as not political opponents or enemies all the time. What does the BJP do? Yes. They want to annihilate the enemies who they are political opponents. They also want to annihilate the political threats within their own system. Why That's is Venkaya Naidu today being retired out of active political life at the age of 73? One second, sir, I'm still talking. 
I did not speak while you were speaking. At the age of 73, why has he been relegated to no active political life? Why were people like Mr. Advani and Mr. Murli Manohar Joshi or Yashwan Sinha or Arun Shori put away? B what is this pattern? And this is state no, no. after the, state. The, the BJP could well argue, the BJP could well argue that this is a generational change in their party. But no, no. Can, can I ask a very simple question? I'll, I'll go to Rameshwar Chaurasi after that. But a very simple I question. Like I, 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 I don't know if you have an answer for it. Maybe it's early days. But who do you think is the person best equipped to be the face to take on Mr. Modi? We know who the NDA's candidate for Prime Minister is going to be in 2024. Who is going to be the combined opposition's face Zaka, to take on Mr. Modi? I'm quite surprised you think I will not have an answer for that. I can answer this question in the middle of my deep sleep. The Congress will be the fulcrum of any opposition unity. You've seen us raising voices. You've seen how there is one man who stands undaunted and takes them on no matter what you throw his way. And that is Rahul Gandhi. So okay. I'm going to turn around and ask actually a simpler question. All these guys saying, Mr. Modi, what if everybody comes together and projects Mr. Gadkari? What is going to happen? We already uh, know we, huge chips we, in the armor between we, the RSS we, and Mr. We, Modi. We, we have I'm just saying, we, why I not? Mean, uh, I mean, uh, politics uh, is an act you know of what? If that Who happens, knew, Supriya, I, I, I will RSS commit, I will commit on Edward. national television. I'll take you out for lunch if that happens, okay? I'll commit on national television Zaka, if that happens. Zaka, you but, should take me out for anyway, lunch, otherwise as well. Anyway, Zaka, you I, should take me let out me, for let lunch, me otherwise go back to, as well. Nene, let but me go I back to Ramesh. I have another question to say. Yeah, yeah. No, let me go to Ramesh. No, I'm glad, I'm glad you are here. not pulling back any punches. You're giving me a direct answer that you believe uh, that your leader, Rahul Gandhi, will be is the best equipped person to take on Narendra Modi. Fair enough. Let me go.